to the Art Lab in a Box. It is Sam again. I am here with another great activity. Today we are going to be making emoji friendship bracelets or just bracelets or a keychain or anything you feel like. So get your box, open it up, and I will show you what we need inside. Okay, for this next project, we are going to be needing this stretchy cord that you got, your letter beads, your emoji beads, your tassel, and a pair of scissors. That is all you need. Go ahead and get it and let's get started. All right, once you have all of your things, we are gonna be making two of them. So you're gonna to wanna to fold, take the two ends of your elastic cord, put them together and Pull like that. And then I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm going to cut it like that. All right, so now I have two strings for two necklaces. Time to press pause and cut yours. Once you have them both cut in half, you are gonna take one of your bigger kind of flower beads and put it on the string like that. And then we are gonna tie a knot around this, so let's do it slowly. So you put it on the end of the string, and then you're going to cross your strings like this. See, this one's on the bottom, this one's on the top. And then you're gonna pull it through, just like tying a regular knot, like that. And that is gonna make sure when you put beads on the other end, none of them are gonna fall off, so I'll show you. Jay on. There you go. So now it can't fall off because this one's tied on. All right, so you're gonna wanna do that to both strings to start. I'm gonna pick these two emojis, put it on, tie it in a knot so it doesn't come off. If this part's difficult, just go ahead and ask an adult or an older kid. They'll help you with this part. Tying things can be challenging sometimes. Okay, perfect. Press pause and add yours on. Once you have these two on, you're ready to start beating. But before you start beating, you're gonna wanna dump all of your letters out and find some words that you want to spell. My daughter's name is Summer, so I'm gonna find the letters of Summer. S, U, M. The W's can also look like M, so if you don't have enough M's, you can get a W. Sometimes I have to change the letters that are on the beads just to make sure I have the right letters. Okay, then I just need an E. There we go. Go ahead and pick out the letters to spell different words and line them up on your table so you're ready to do the spelling. Okay, go ahead and find some words that you might wanna put on your bracelet and press play again when you're ready. The next part is really easy. Now we can just add on our beads. So in between my words and my letters, I'm gonna add the bigger beads, like the big purple one or the flower bead to separate my words. You can do this part however you like, in whatever order you want, any color you want. Uh, be creative and keep going until you get about halfway down the string and press play again. Perfect. So this should be about the right size to fit on your wrist. And if it's way too small, you can add a bit more, or if it's too big, you can take some off. But you know what? I think that because it's stretchy, 10, 10, and then a word in the middle should be fine. But it's really up to you. All right, so when you're done this one, you're gonna wanna take another one of these beads And you're gonna wanna 
tie a knot around it like what you did on the other side so that no beads can come off. There we go, I'm gonna do a double knot. And there you go, there's one part. So you're gonna make two strings just like this one. Go ahead, press pause and start beating your bracelet. And when you have two of them, press play. Okay, I have finished both of mine. I spelled as many words as you can. Hopefully you spelled as many as you can. And now I'm gonna take the two ends of my bracelets and I'm gonna tie them together like this. And then I'm gonna do another knot to double tie it. Pull it tight. Not so tight that you break the elastic, but it, it's really sturdy, so you should be fine giving it a good pull. And then even a third knot I'm gonna do to make sure it's extra secure. There we go. Mine's triple knotted. I'm gonna trim the string off the end. I'm not gonna cut it so close. I'm gonna give it a little bit of room so I, have, I can make sure I have string to pull still to tie it. I'm gonna do the same thing with the other one. I wonder what words you wrote on yours. I wish I could see. One, two, and one last time. I'm gonna do it slow. Remember, I already showed you. Crisscross your strings like that, and then bring the one on the top around and through the loop, and pull tight. You can even do five or six knots to make sure it's extra, extra, extra sturdy. All right, so go ahead, press pause, and create your two bracelets. Okay, once your bracelets are done, you can actually keep them like this if you want and have two bracelets for two different people. Or if it's just for yourself, your mom, your aunt, your whoever, you can take this golden tassel. Okay, you're gonna hold them like this. Put the golden tassel through here, like that. So it's inside like that. And then you're gonna take this golden tassel and loop it through this hole. And pull, pull, perfect. And then you have this really cool bracelet that's stuck together and you can put it on. Make sure it's tied tight. And then it's got this cool tassel. So here it is, guys. It is looking super awesome. This would be a great gift for someone. Great friendship bracelet. I really love this. I hope you guys had a good time making it. I definitely did, and thank you so much. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.